Buongiorno, I thought I would do a little video um, to tell you a bit about myself if you um, haven't been following me for long. My name is Nikki, I live in Positano. This is Carla, he's my Hello. partner. We've been together for <laughs> a long time. Carla has to go to the dentist now so I thought I'd come with him and take you along and just tell you a few things along the way. We live in a beautiful house in Positano but we have 465 steps to get up to the main road. The first time I came to Positano, I was 12 years old. I came with a school friend and her family, and I went with them pretty much every summer until I finished school. In 1999, I moved here permanently, but I didn't actually mean to. You see, I'm a makeup artist, and I used to work um, for TV shows in the UK. Carlo, by the way, runs the cemetery here in Positano. That does not mean that I make up the people that he buries. No. In February of 1999, I got a job for a week on an Andrea Bocelli concert in Rome. And once that finished, I decided to pop down to Positano and see my friends because I hadn't been for a while. Um, that was when I ended up staying. I got offered a job in an art gallery for the summer and decided to take it so I could learn Italian. And um, yeah, I'm still here. That job lasted about about two months and I packed it in and um, spent the rest of the summer enjoying myself on the beach and learning the language. I met Carlo in uh, 2000 and, and we got together in 2001 and we also now have a 14 year old daughter called Sky. She's at boarding school in England at the moment. I spent a few years working the summer season in hotels and then some boat companies before eventually building up the courage to go for it as a makeup artist. Come on! Nowadays I pass the summer season working along the coast, doing weddings, doing bridal makeup and bridesmaids and mother-in-laws and stuff. And I spend the winters enjoying myself, sometimes going away and a bit of time in the UK. In 2006, I started writing a blog about life in Positano. I called it the life I chose. You won't find it anymore, I ended up changing the name um, to Fix and Lemons. Why have I started doing videos on YouTube? Let me tell you why. I have a very lovely friend um, called Aloma who is from Bermuda and she's in her 70s. She came here last year, she really wanted to do the path of the gods and I just don't think she was quite um, fit enough to do it. So I promised her I'd make a video of it one day. And then I suddenly realized that there was probably a lot of other people who would like to see that video who can't actually hike the pathway of the gods. So um, yeah, that's where the idea came about. I decided I wanted to start showing people that there was more to Positano than the beach. I've just got down on the beach, it's actually really busy and I don't know if I can walk around with a camera in front of myself filming. So I'm gonna go and find somewhere quiet to carry on. The best thing about living in Positano Coming from England, I'd have to say the weather. The weather's much better. The worst thing about living in Positano, the amount of tourists that are arriving in July and August. It's just getting too crowded. The summer season in Positano, it starts about Easter time and it goes through to the end of October. And I pretty much work most of that season. Most of my work is in Ravello. Um, I do quite a lot of weddings in Sorrento. Not so many in Positano, actually. I go back to England quite a lot in the winter, probably about once every six weeks or so. This is Holly. She was abandoned about four years ago and Carlo found her in a car park in Monte Petuso and she followed him home. And she's now everybody's favorite part of the family. Aren't you? You can get down now. We also have two cats at home, Lily and um, the other one is called Itty Bitty Kitty. Um, Lily has been with us for about nine years. She was one of two cats that we got off a friend who had a whole load of kittens that needed homes. And the Itty Bitty Kitty was a cat that was rescued off the beach last year. Our daughter Skye is completely bilingual. I have always spoken to her in English from the moment she was born and Carlo has always spoken to her in Italian. Me and Carlo speak Italian together. Skye speaks Italian to Carlo and English to me. So, um, poor kid, when she goes to bed at night, she actually says, what a not a good night. Right, it's very noisy up there. Let's turn around and go back the other way. 
When I first came to Positano, I spoke a little bit of Italian, but not much, and I definitely didn't understand the local dialect. It took me about nine months to become fairly fluent in Italian and be confident talking to people, and to this day, I do not speak the dialect, although I do pretty much understand it. Come on, that's an dentista. No schifo. No schifo? Yeah. Do you want to go again? No, I'm not sure. I'm better. Oh. That's about it. I can't think of anything else to tell you for now. Um, I might do one of these another time. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.